Hi, I'm Tom Quimby. Vowel harmony is one of my favorite phonological features across languages, and like, rightfully so. Vowel harmony typically shows up in case-heavy agglutinative languages, where words can pack more semantic content through endings. Many languages have endings, yes, but the difference here is that instead of having a set ending, vowel harmony allows the base form of the ending, or whatever, to have underspecified vowels. What this means is that features of preceding vowels in the root word will carry over to vowels in the ending. Languages with vowel harmony often categorize their vowel for the purposes of this. For example, front versus back vowels, or plus and minus ATR vowels. Cool. Except, this video isn't about vowel harmony. This video is about taking the concept of vowel harmony and making it awful. I'm Connor Quimby, and what if vowels were evil? Now, since I'm making this concept up, there's multiple ways I can go about it. Let's first start by defining vowel harmony as the existence of patterns with vowels and morphemes, even if sound changes have made them irregular. As such, vowel disharmony will be the lack of vowel patterns. This means that for every ending or instance where vowel harmony would come into play, all vowels are specified in the lexicon. It's been a while since we did one of these. It's sample time. Let there be a language with a few cases and endings, and here's some words. Knoppet. Twenty. Mwah. If we had vowel harmony, endings might be null for nominative, vowel D for accusative, vowel S, vowel S for genitive, vowel F9 major chord, T for instrumental, etc. But vowel disharmony requires these vowels to be specified. So let's change that to ad for accusative, uses for genitive, and at for instrumental. Now we can see that if we inflect our words that the vowels do not follow some pattern across the word. Now some of you may be thinking, if every ending is always stable, it never changes, regardless of the fact that it doesn't have a pattern with the root morphine, it's still clearly a pattern, since you always know what the ending is. And that's a decent point. So what if each word comes with the vowels and its endings uniquely pre-specified as a part of its lexical entry? Let's look at our words again and do that. It's sample time. Let its endings for accusative, genitive, and instrumental be ed, asus, and er. 20s, odd, osus, and mt, and mt, b, odd, osos, and ert. This is pretty neat. Not only is there not harmony across the word, vowel disharmony gives us no patterns across the endings, so you can't just memorize what the vowel is. How this would develop in a natural language, I have no idea, because you couldn't really have the different vowels and endings emerge through natural sound changes, and that also. <clears throat> Connor, there's still patterns here. This is in full disharmony. The pattern is within the morphology section of the lexical entry of each word. Each time you say an ending, you know which vowels to use. It's part of the pattern recognition that is early language development. These are essentially just irregular forms, with each form being specified in a lexical entry for the morphology of the word. Of course, this brings up the natural question. If everything is regular, isn't it just regularity? Is the lack of any pattern a pattern itself? For if everything in a set is different, then it can be argued that they are all the same. The defining linking characteristic is simply just null. They are united by nothing, but that union is just as strong. I would argue that as such, valid disharmony is a futile concept, for it simply is just the absence of vowel harmony. As we see, any attempts to define it as something beyond the lack of vowel harmony within a language just leads to patterns and sets being formed in alternate ways. You cannot delete patterns and sets as you have set out to do in language or in the world. Vowel disharmony is not possible the way you are defining it. Wow, that's great. You must be great at parties. Okay, you don't want a pattern? You see that underspecification from earlier? F*** your vowels. No more specified vowels. This ending for accusative case can be any vowel as you want from any possible vowel articulation, and every time it can be different. Knoppet ad, knoppet ed, knoppet ud. It all means accusative knoppet. Twenty asus, twenty isus, twenty os is. That's all date of twenty. Any time, any vowel. There, where are the patterns? That's just free variation then. It's just one phoneme V. You want vowel disharmony? I'll give you vowel disharmony. Tritone tonal systems. Yeah, that wouldn't really work. Um, hmm. Well, I guess you could be disharmonious in a discourse pragmatic sense by screaming all your vowels. I don't think this is going to work. I hereby decree vowel disharmony a failure, because I'm not going to make another video on it.
And of course, a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters, because yeah, they supported me through four months of nothing, which is, holy cow. I just wanted to give a thank you to Agmashwa, Opuscobble, Pirate, Eden, Benny, Acorn, Albert Jones, Stein Gruning, Stein Hooning, Dutch, Dutch hard, and uh, Cactus. So yes, thank you to all of them. If you want to join my Discord server, it's down there. New Year's resolution is try to get a video per month. I'm devoting more time to this channel. Hopefully I'm going to have more motivation. Thank you. I love you all.